Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to configure Docker stack on Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is what is Docker stack and its use cases. So let me go with the image for you. Here is a Docker stack image, right? See, if you are looking to scale Docker apps deployment, you will have want to make sure to cluster a collection of nodes together into Docker Swarm, right? I will. I have already discussed how to deploy a Docker Swarm in Linux. So till now, if you didn't see that video, I will request you to go on my Docker playlist and watch how to configure Docker Swarm on Linux. In a previous video, we had a deployed service in a Docker Swarm. For this, we had to manually start each service in Swarm mode, right? But suppose there are hundreds of services to be deployed using Docker Swarm. In such a case, manually starting service is not feasible. We had face a similar problem when deploying multiple services on a single host machine. And the solution for this program was to use Docker Compose to deploy Docker services. Since Docker Swarm involves uh, deploying multiple services across the various nodes, we cannot use the Docker Compose, but the Docker Swarm provides something similar to the Docker Compose called Docker Stack, which can be used for deploying services in the Swarm mode. So the main difference between Docker Compose and the Docker Stack is that Docker Compose deploy container on single host. You can see that, that uh, the Docker Compose working on a single host, right? But in Docker Stack, it deploy across the different different nodes, right? Across the multiple nodes. So in short, Docker Stack is a collection of services that make up an application in a specified environment. So if you go with the Docker Swarm technology, you can deploy your application on the different different uh, nodes on a cluster, right? So guys, let's start the lab session and we'll see how it is useful for us, right? So for the demonstration purpose, I have uh, my using a real line virtual machine where I have already set up three node cluster environment. As you can see, this is my Linux terminal. And uh, let me show you the OS release version of this machine first. So host name CTL. So this is a computer named DevOps server and this is 9.1, right? Let me, uh, and currently I'm using this machine as a manager node, right? So let me take the SSH of my available nodes from this machine. So currently I have one, two more nodes in real line server and real line client. Okay, so let's start. Let me take the SSH of those machine 192.168.111.128. Get the password. Okay, I'm here. And the next one is 192.168.111.1130. Okay, I'm logging here and this machine, the IP address of this machine is if config, I go with the if config, command IP is 192.168.1.111.129. So guys, this is 129, this is server 1, this is uh, 128 and station 1 is 130, right? So let me set the font size for you first. Okay, give me one second. Okay. So now you can see that I have taken a uh, remote SSH uh, of my both Linux node. Let me check the current condition of Docker images and container using the following command on the manager node. So remember doc DevOps server this machine acting as a manager node, right? So I'll go with the Docker image first. Images, currently I don't have any image, perfect. If I go with Docker PS-A, currently I don't have any running container. And even if I go with the Docker service LS command, See, currently I don't have any service. So you can see that currently I don't have any container images, services or container available in this box, right? So let me check the status of manager node with the help of docker node ls command. Docker node ls command. Guys, I am repeating you again. Please go, first of all, go with the docker swam video, then follow this video, right? So once I press enter docker node ls, you can see that here, uh, three node cluster setup is ready for us where DevOps server working as a manager node. This is acting as a manager node, that's this machine and server one and station one acting as a worker node, right? So move to the first tab, which is go with the Docker Compose YAML file for the deploy your application. So for the time saving purpose, I have already created Docker Composer.yml file. Let me show you and try to explain everything over there. Docker Compose.yml, right? Even if I go with the number of line, it's got to be easy to be understand. See, we have to pass a Docker Compose YAML file as an augment to the Docker 
tech deploy command using the composer file or hyphen c option so the docker composer file contains services volume network etc that are required to start a full application the composer file version is 3.0 or above are supported by the deploy command so once we deploy the stack service mentioned in the composer file or compose file or got created and replicates replicas are distributed to the different worker nodes but before deploy uh, this file using docker stack let me deploy this file using docker compose command and we'll see the deploy structure what will the effect, effect happen if i go and destroy with the i'll, I'll go with and deploy with docker compose first right so it will launch two container with web one app and web app two on different different port that is 8000 and 8002 right so let's start with the docker compose first the command is docker compose and simple up iphone d press enter so yep very good we got the warning look at the warning first so that uh, it, it, it shows me the docker engines you are using is running in swarm mode so compose does not use swarm mode to deploy services to the multiple nodes in a swarm so all container will be scheduled on the current node only to deploy your application across the swarm we need to use docker stack deploy it's clearly they have mentioned right so uh, that is the reason docker stack come in the picture so let me check the current status uh, and let me check the container status also so you can see that root web 1 app and root web 2 is going to be created so just let it be complete first okay so now it's done so we can go with docker compose ps command and you will find out yep both are ready so both images deployed and containers in up and running condition even i can go with docker ps command definitely it will show docker ps yes so even if we check on the different node, no container deploy on the any other node except it, this current node. So let me go with the docker ps here. Nothing is there. Even docker ps here. Nothing is there. Uh, it is the older one. Uh, 8002. Yeah, this is the DevOps server machine. Okay. I don't require this one. Go with the docker images. Uh, docker ps. Okay. Now it's clear. So DevOps server, I have two nginx images container right so even if we check we didn't find anything so let me remove this environment and deploy one more time using docker stack but let me remove it first so command is very simple docker compose stop and then removed rm gone are you sure yes i am and now let me verify ps gone perfect docker ps hyphen a even stop and running nothing it's clear so all removed now move to the next step which is deploy this file using docker stack right so command is docker stack and deploy hyphen c comp file docker compose yaml and i'll give the name my first f i r s t f i r s t first stack okay so docker stack so let me press enter first creating network creating services okay so finally we deploy our first docker stack using docker stack deploy command and name it my first stack right in the above output we can see that the stick name has been added to the service and networks okay so let me check if it is deploy successfully using docker stack ls command so if i go with docker stack ls command let me check yep Two services are there and let me check the container details also so command is docker stack process and stack name my first stack perfect now you can see that is station one and server one okay it is in a running condition so in the above output we can see that one replica is running out of one for both services if there is zero replica showing which means that the service is not deployed successfully so if i go to the server one and station one so currently i'm here docker ps yep it is there nginx image and if i go here yep perfect first stack you can see that my first stack web app 2 so uh, uh, this is this is let, let test the application by connecting it using the web browser for any node let's say for manager node so i can go with the easy command firefox 192.168.111.129 even if i check here uh, docker ps hyphen a nothing is there but if i go with firefox 192.168.111.129 colon port is what was the port the port is 8000 and 8002 am i right 
so even even i can check it port also give me one sec let me go back again with docker stack command stack and service and your service name yeah here it is you can see that 8000 8002 port right so now i can go with firefox 192.168.111.129 colon 8000 even if you remember in 129 node there is a, not a single any container running is there but i can grab the result right so just wait we got default nginx web page yeah it's coming it's coming okay yeah welcome to nginx and now if i change from 8000 to 8002 should also respond yep welcome to nginx and see the IP is 129 even I can access from any IP address that is a beauty even if I go with the 30 definitely I should get the response this is the beauty of your docker swam in the cluster mode right let me stop it so uh, this is the important thing this is the interesting thing if and if uh, this is this is how you can see it's working on the both ports right on 8000 8002 now move to the last part which is how to remove that stack if there is any requirement to destroy the stack we can do the by, by running docker stack rm command so i can go with the docker stack and rm command and service name this is very stack name it's very easy yep gone so in the above output we can see that it's remove all its services as well as network whatever it's created while deploying the stack so if i go with docker stack ls one more time all gone so finally we are in the conclusion which says uh, we can use the docker stack most of the time while deploying application in the production to make it highly available it's only work in the SOAR mode we remember so we first have to active and initialize SOAR mode to view the available docker stack commands execute the following command like docker stack hyphen hyphen help for getting the more information right guys finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out to my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye